So there's a dude in the pool, and he's beating all the women. Get out of the pool, pal. There's a men's team for you to swim on. So you may have noticed the media fawning over a man who is beating women in swimming races. He's dominating the competition, in fact. Other swimmers are finally going public with their frustration and their humiliation. Maybe humiliation is the point of this exercise. Has that occurred to you? That story's next. And is it correct you just started identifying as female two weeks ago? I'm not here to talk about my transition. I'm here to kick some ass. Let me tell you something, Dingleberry. David Perry. I'm going to roll up the other women here, and I'm going to smoke them. I am the strongest woman this state has ever seen. Yeah, Thomas is a man who somehow is swimming as a woman for the University of Pennsylvania swim team. This week, Thomas won the women's NCAA national championship race in the 500-yard freestyle event. University of Virginia swimmer Emma Wyant would have won. She's the best, but she was forced to compete with a dude, so she lost. She came in second. Finally, actual women are speaking out against this humiliating spectacle that degrades and eliminates them as a category. Here's one Virginia Tech swimmer, for example. You're a Virginia Tech swimmer. What did you think about Leah Thomas competing today? You're all very disappointed and frustrated with someone who is has capabilities more than us women have to be able to compete at this level and take opportunities away from other women. Like I have a teammate who did not make finals today because she was just bumped out of finals. And it's heartbreaking to see someone who went through puberty as a male and has the body of a male be able to absolutely blow away the competition. So there's a dude in the pool and he's beaten all the women. Of course, because he's way bigger, because he's a man. So at any other time in human history, people would say, well, that's insane. Get out of the pool, pal. There's a men's team for you to swim on. But because everything now is a lie, and we have to go along with those lies as if they're true, the mind-bending Today Show segment like this just appeared and nobody said anything. Watch this. In addition to watching for her winning those races, Hoda, we're also watching for the potential. She is within striking distance of the long-held collegiate records by Missy Franklin and Katie Ledecky. So, of course, we're going to be watching to see if she uh, touches those records during this weekend, too. Yeah, she touches those records. What? You're crazy. But they're not crazy. They're doing it for a reason. I am the strongest woman this state has ever seen. Ponder that for a moment. 